Yeah, so we, we just finished up with A1 and it was uh, super nice to, to make it there one, to get there healthy and to, uh, to make it through. I mean, that was my first A1 on a 450 and yeah, last year I missed the first round uh, due to injury. So I'm leading up to the race, it was, it was a lot of work. We had a lot of work to do just as a team and uh, we did a really good job at it, but it was, it was a constant grind. Yeah, honest, it honestly felt like my very first Supercross again. And thinking back to that in uh, early 2014, it's like, dude, I, I, was, I was pumped to be out there. Like, that's it. So it, it was hard to not think about my last year. Like, dude, we, we overcame a lot and I had a lot of growing to do, a lot of learning, and still I'm learning the 450. So getting in there in a race environment, it was, it was different, but it was, kind of part of the learning process and I had to throw myself in there and um, it was really good for experience. I feel my nerves are completely different now just going into Oakland and it's uh yeah it's I'm excited to continue making progress. I had some good starts. I need to keep getting good starts so that I can get more experience and uh, learn learn uh, the 450 pace, the 450 guys and everything in between. It, it's easy to Obviously 18th is like, sorry, but there were so many good things that happened that it's like, okay, like I, I didn't know what to do in the main, but it's like, that's something that can all be fixed. It's encouraging that we have, we have a lot of room to grow and that's just what we got to do. I mean, it's, it's not ideal result wise, but there, there were so many other things that, that was kind of positive from it that it's like I, I can't I can't sit on that because we got to keep keep the momentum going and and putting stuff together because yeah even uh even going back to um like my last year in the 250 class it was like that was my best year ever and I it comes down to the last race and I'm like I don't know what to, I've never done this before and so I, I I did just about everything that I felt like I could do and right after the race, I'm just like, I, w I was more so bummed because I'm like, I, I didn't know what to do in that situation. And I had to learn from it, kind of kick yourself in the rear and all right, let's keep going. But to get through the first round healthy and confidence wise, it, it took a leap right after the race. It's like, okay, like I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready to, to line up again because I, I know I know there there were some really good takeaways from today, but there were some things that are super easy and simple fix, and I'm ready to like work on those and, and apply them next time. So, yeah, it, it confidence already took a big leap, and it's I'm looking to continue that, and I got to rely on the team, and I got to rely on on all the work we did in the off season, and I think I'll be I'll be way further ahead than I was this weekend. Yep.